Located in the Rocky Mountains at the base of the Rampart Range, we're in Colorado Springs for today's game. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes zero calories. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's tackled in the open field. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. Takes a handoff inside and stopped the medium. Gets to about the 37 yard line. Looks to the back and can't connect. So that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. And he can't hang on to the ball. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. That's a tough break. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And they make the stop at about the 31. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Good open field tackle. That brings up third and ten. Complete brought down, nothing doing. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He's tackled at the 29. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. The Falcons saw one of their top players going down earlier. But it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Now he pitches it. He's taken down right around the 28-yard line. Super job here by the defense of filling the gaps on the line. If you keep stringing out plays like that, you can really shut an option attack down. Second down and 12. Ball on the 28-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, no score here. We're all tied up as we head into quarter number two. at the 40-yard line. Had protection, now scrambles. 
Tackle made around the 48-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about eight yards. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And down he goes at about the 45. That's good for There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. the run he gets to about the 34 yard line the offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executing they're not in a hurry but they're very very methodical and very consistent with their approach that's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive he's at the 20 Dives forward. Good yardage there on the scramble. Well, you have to credit the quarterback here. He's not the most fleet-footed guy on the field, but notice how he has the awareness and the composure to know when to tuck it and go. And as a result, he comes up with a big play. He's tackled at the eighth. The middle for a nice game. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. So the quarterback decided to improvise and took it in for the touchdown. This is why this guy is such a special player. This is what makes the offense even more difficult to stop. When a quarterback can take it himself and run, that's just one more weapon the defense has to account for. He makes the PAT. A nine-play, 70-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Taken from the three-yard line. Tackle at the 32. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Strike to his receiver, no good. It's second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. They'll make the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Comes the pressure. Dangerous pass here and it falls incomplete. Number 27 was the intended The defense looks like they're gonna send in the cavalry on this one. They'll bring him down at the 40. Pretty good job by the return man there. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Rice up seven points. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled at the 35. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. it out to his receiver in a hurry. Great first half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. The Owls with a touchdown lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always. 
to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes because coaches will tell you it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But wait, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He really got a hold of that kick. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Rice is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. I'm not sure what happened, but one of the players is hurt. It's first and 10. Ball in the 32. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. Second and 12. The Falcons had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. They try the right side. Brought down around the 28-yard line. Loss of two on the play. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 28. Here they come. Quick out to his receiver. It was a well designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. That brings us fourth and seven. He's tackled at the 24. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Rice is up by a touchdown. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That brings him second and one. He's gobbled up in the backfield. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at about the 41. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. Scrambling around. The ball is loose. And they fall on the loose ball. And he's level at the 44. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. 
he tackles him hard at the 41 yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. The Owls with a touchdown lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Just under two to go in the game. Here we go. They'll knock him down for a loss. Call the loss of three yards. That brings us third and ten. It's third down and long, and losing by a possession, I would expect them to have to go to the air. Slings it, and he shoved out of bounds around the 40-yard line. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. He's on a run, and he can't get the pass off, and he's sacked. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. The halfback with a carry. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And he's brought down at the 35-yard line. Great run by the back there. He could have gone all the way. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's pushed out of bounds around the 20-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. A little over a minute in the game. Nice run, and he's brought down. Air Force has called their final timeout. It's second and five here. Ball on the 15. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of six yards. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Rice! And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. At the 30. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 40. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. Well, this offense is going to have to do a better job on this drive. Remember the last time, they went for it on fourth down and came up short. Now they get the football back. Let's see how they can do it. Gets out to around the 48. That makes it second and two. The spike will stop the clock. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And he holds it in. He shows you right there why a defense can never lose tabs on him. Take your eye off him in coverage, and he'll create a big play. Spikes the ball. That makes it second and ten. Set. 
flips it middle to the running back. He's taken down around the 32 yard line. And he stops the clock with a spike. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. This one's over, folks. Just time for one more play to get some stats. So don't be surprised if you see everyone trying to pick this one off. He wants it all. He's got it. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Owls come out on top, 14-7. And the Falcons. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.